Well, welcome to Blundell Park, everyone. Today we see the visit of Manchester City to play Grimsby Town. 15th of April, year 2000. Division 1 fixture, we'll see the light blues, the sky blues. Try and get three points here from Blundell Park. They beat Grimsby 2-1 earlier in the season at Christmas time at Main Road. But first things first, let's have a look at some mascots out there for you. We have young Aaron Connor McKenzie, he's an eight-year-old. We have young Luke Follen, another eight-year-old. Andrew Foster, who's a baby out there today, he's four. And then we have the young ladies. We should have Amber Carter, another eight-year-old, and six-year-old Tamsin Baduri. For the uh, opposition, I think we have a light blue. Uh, yes, he is. There he is in the penalty area over there, testing the goalkeeper. Young Callum Jarvis. He's got a good shot on him. You watch this. That'll do. We'll have to sign him. And uh, we've got the diddy. We've got the diddy bods out in the middle, and I'm sure Martin will focus in there. Young Andy Foster bringing up the rear. Doesn't matter to him at all. He'll get in there and get stuck in. And if Tamsin Badori is out there, I'm afraid we've lost her somewhere along the lines. She was supposed to be there, but she isn't there. But we do have Aaron McKenzie, Amber Carter, Luke Follen, and Andrew Foster. I shall run through the sides for you. We have in goal for Grimsby Town, Danny Coyne. Number two is Danny Butterfield, three Tony Gallimore. In the middle of the defence will be number 15 Mark Lever and skipper Paul Groves number 11. In the midfield should line up seven Kevin Donovan, 16 Stacey Caldicott, 26 Alan Powton and David Smith number eight. With up front number nine Lee Ashcroft joining him of course Daryl Clare number 19. Men on the bench for town as usual Steve Crowdson, Steve Livingston, Bradley Allen, Kingsley Black and Matthew Bloomer. Manchester City side, of course, squad numbered, so I won't be able to tell you how these are going to line up until we kick off. But we have number one, Nicky Weaver. Richard Edgehill is three. Gerard Vikings is four. Kevin Horlock is six. Spencer Pryor, seven. Paul Dickoff, nine. Leading goalscorer, Sean Goater, is ten. Jeff Whitley is 18. Danny Tiato is 19. Richard Jobson, been around a few years now, is 25. Mark Kennedy, 34. Men on the bench for Manchester City, Tommy Wright, Ian Bishop, Jamie Pollock, Lee Mills and Danny Granville. The man in charge of this afternoon is Mr Laws. And with him today on the lines will be Mr Klingo and Mr Booth. Manchester City with a very good away record, having won eight and uh, drawn seven. Only lost five. Scored 23 goals on the travels. And, of course, it'll be up to the Mariners to break this terrible record that we have just set up of going, well, basically six and three-quarter games, I think it is now, without scoring a goal. In it comes. Whoa. Man got away from that lever. Well, a goal has been given. I'm not too sure as a man didn't come ploughing into Danny Coyne. <coughs> it's a big guy up from the back. Man City fans spill onto the pitch. It's Spencer Pryor who gets the goal. Um, he came up from the back. The header in uh, was a looping one. Went right into the six-yard area. And Spencer Pryor with six minutes of the game gone puts Manchester City 1-0 in front. Bad goal for town. Dickoff inside, Danny Coyne is there. Corner kick. Looks like there's a lot of Manchester City fans have got in one way or the other. You see in that corner there, they're being allowed to stand basically. Going to be number six, Kevin Horlock with a corner. Not a good one. Alan Powton only half away. Still there, they send it back again. Caldicott loses out. 
outside the area, long range and a good save by Danny Coyne. They don't come any better than that. Screaming towards the top corner there from Jeff Whitley. David Smith will take it. Obviously it's going to be left footed and swinging out. Very deep, who's coming in? Paul Groves, couldn't climb enough. Edgehill with the ball away, picked off by Caldicott. Now Donovan, pulled back somewhat, still going. Wants it back and he gets it back. Just a yard too far, Gota now. Caldicott, good run by Ashcroft. Oh, he wants support close and he hasn't got it. Weaver palms it away. Still town putting uh, City under the cosh. In there now. Yes! Alan Powton! What a good finish! Good finish by Alan Powton. Pressure by town paying off eventually. Alan Powton in there scoring his first goal, I think, for Grimsby Town. In front of the pontoon stand. Good goal, good reply. But we've got a game on our hands. I think it was Daryl Clare who caused problems in the penalty area there. He got half a touch to it. It fell for Alan Powton. He wasn't going to miss. And it's his first goal for the Mariners. And as Graham there on our stats says, Linesman flag is up. 627 minutes, I believe, and that is our first goal in all that time. And a good reply. One apiece. 15 minutes of the game gone when the second goal of the game goes in. One apiece is your scoreline. Lee Astroff, we need men coming in on Weaver in case he can't hold it. Straight through into it. Weaver gets it. He went through the wall. Now Diato. Tiato still, still, and this is good play by him. Up well by Lee, very beat go to to it. But the loose ball falls for Manchester City. Shot will come in now, it's nasty and it's past the far post. But we stood off there and we let Kennedy get the ball in. Towards Kennedy, Butterfield is there. Got good distance on the header. David Smith now, will have to go backwards, Gallimore, back to Smith again, this is a good play by Town, David Smith cuts inside, oh that's a good run by Ashcroft, who looked offside but isn't, great diagonal run, Lee Ashcroft needs to look up now, oh he went for glory, there's no way there was going to be a way through there, but he did what strikers do, he just found that little bit of space for himself by cutting back. He did, however, have men square of him. <laughs> David Smith will take the corner kick. It's hit towards Mark Lever. Be another corner if it goes. No, David Smith will get another chance at it. Deep again. Hanging in there. Gota is there. Snapshot by Powton. Well wide of the mark. Paul Groves is making his way forward, being followed by Gota. That's what Danny Butterfield is waiting for. I'm sure it's hit towards Paul Groves, who got the knockdown. David Smith scuffed it completely. Back in, Daryl Clare. His shot is blocked. It's still in there. And Manchester City hacking it out for another corner kick. Good play by Town. Deliberate play. The man very close to Daryl Clare blocking his effort at goal. On the far side, that should be Kevin Donovan, who tends to float this ball into the near post. To prove me wrong, he sends it deep. Knocked back and knocked away from his goalkeeper there by Vikings, I think. Stacey Caldicott turns with it. Powton, David Smith, let it run away, but he's going to win it back. Tony Gallimore, down the line. Daryl Clare, Smith will take over. Good play by Town. Smith, two men with him. Goaters, one of them. Gallimore has Caldicott square, who in turn has Butterfield square of him. That's where the ball goes. Butterfield wanted a call. Didn't get it, or if he did get it, didn't get it in time. 
Well in by Donovan. Whoa, a bit of silliness. Donovan didn't like the idea. I think uh, Dickoff came sliding in on him. And I think uh, certain hand gestures being made there. So David Smith with a corner. Town's fourth corner. David Smith with it. To the penalty spot. Who are there? When it comes to Kevin Donovan, he clips it straight back in. Paul Groves! Wider the mark. Skipper probably long overdue a goal. Lee Ashcroft, back to Kevin Donovan. Needs to make his mind up, Ashcroft. Livingston, back to Donovan, this is good play. Donovan floats one in, the only man in there is David Smith. Stacey Caldicott, almost crept its way through. Gallimore's ball in, it's nice. Livo was there, oh it's there now! Lee Ashcroft, well, it's a great block by Jobson. It fell so nicely for Lee Ashcroft. And give credit there to Jobson. Jobson came out of nowhere. Just did enough. Lee Ashcroft will be disappointed. He didn't have time to make his mind up. It was just a case of really hitting it. The rain driving down now. Corner comes in. Smithy will get another chance. Low. Touched in and away by Man City. Danny Butterfield, that's a good ball to Kevin Donovan. It's an even better ball in. Mark Lever is looking for it. Free kick will be given. Another town throw. Gallimore with it. Livingston was a target. Now Ashcroft, oh, it's a good ball. Great ball to David Smith. He's being held off. And again, the defence doing its job. That time it was Whiteley following his way back with David Smith. There's lovely back heel by Ashcroft that got him in. We reckon we're into the last 10 minutes of the match now. It's another corner for town. David Smith with it once more. Pouton makes his way towards the near post. Bit of climbing in there by Livingston. Free kick is right. Eight thousand one hundred and sixty six people in the ground here today. Mark Lever seemed to be climbing on his man. Not town's biggest crowd of the season, but still plenty in here. Now, free kick, 30 yards out. Almost central. I think this is Kennedy lining it up. Two-man wall for town. Not very far away. I'd like to think Danny Coyne had that covered. He seemed very confident with it. Kennedy almost stroking the ball. Gr Graham informing there, that's the Manchester City's first attempt at goal since the 27th minute. And I think you've got to give credit there to the town defence. Well, it's Manchester City on the attack, this is Kennedy. Gota is there. The linesman is flagging. Gota's goal is disallowed. And we're going to have a very eventful last six minutes. Danny Butterfield. Town would dearly love to pinch the three points here today. Whether we will or not, it's another thing. Free kick taken. Danny Butterfield curls it in. Look like handball, Livo! Wide of the mark, not... Jobson. It's for Gota to chase. 
Paul Groves is going with him, as is Mark Lever. Gota gets between the two, really. Tries to get past and can't. Still there, Sean Gota lays it back. In comes a cross. Nasty, look at this. Well, Danny Coyne at the death, earning his uh, pennies and uh, saving that at the near post. Absolutely hammered in by Kennedy. Corner kick for Manchester City. Once again, it's floated deep. Bishop seemed to be climbing. Taken away from Jobson by Powton. Throw taken. And there is the final whistle. And I think you've got to say that Manchester City, on the evidence of today's game, will be happier with a point than Town will be. Town got through an awful lot of work in the second half. The final score is Grimsby Town 1, Manchester City 1. But it's been a fighting performance by both sides, in fairness. Certainly from Grimsby Town. Alan Buckley said we were going to come out and fight and go for goals. Well, we didn't exactly get goals. We got a goal. It was enough to get us a point. And I think you've got to say at the end of the day that, well, Manchester City, uh, they stood the ground. Town just couldn't find the way past Weaver or past the Manchester City defence. Tough old game. A point will certainly do for Grimsby Town. We'd be unhappy we haven't got three. Manchester City, well, a point for them at this stage of the season. They're looking for three all the way along with the pressure behind them from the other clubs. How that changes for the end of things come this afternoon's results, we will find out. But from Blundell Park, it's Town 1, Manchester City 1.